Recent reports of resistant staph infections, or MRSA, in people and even coming from our pets may have many of us wondering how dangerous could our pets be? What other diseases can our pets carry or perhaps transmit to us? Every day, millions of us hug and kiss our pets. It's part of the bond we share. But unfortunately, sometimes our pets can share their deadly illnesses. Diseases that people get from animals are called zoonotic diseases. Thousands exist, but if you rule out the ones from insects or exotic animals, you're still left with a short list of some very nasty illnesses. Rabies tops the list as the most feared disease connected with our pets. In fact, more than 40,000 people die worldwide each year from this killer. Bacterial diseases such as leptospirosis can cause serious illness and in rare cases, death. Parasites are a huge problem. Easily picked up from puppies, these nasty worms are thought to infect more than 10,000 people in the U.S. annually. And although raccoons should never be kept as pets, we do occasionally see them around our homes. Raccoon roundworms have been known to kill people. The good news in all of this is that many of these diseases are completely <laughs> preventable. As an example, a person dying from rabies is almost unheard of in North America. Strict vaccination protocols have helped to minimize this threat. Follow your mom's advice. Wash your hands. Routine thorough hand washing minimizes exposure to both bacteria and parasites. The good news is that in all of these zoonotic diseases from our pets, they're still relatively rare and very easy to keep from happening in your family. Be smart, use good personal hygiene, and consult with your family veterinarian. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.